I'm Sam Shea, Human Resource Manager at PMF Industries. In about 2015 and 16, PMF started to realize that within the next five to six years, eight experienced CNC machinists would be leaving their workforce due to retirement. With that predicament in, in place, they started looking at how we could recruit our way through this process. After a while, it became very apparent that there wasn't an ecosystem, there wasn't a buildup of people available for CNC machinists. The machining trade had been overlooked like many other trades over the last 30 to 40 years. So we looked at what happened and what was successful 30 years ago and that seemed to be the apprenticeship model. So the strategy has changed from recruiting ourselves out of the problem to now investing and trying to create this ecosystem and that's how we got involved with the high school system. Where do you see yourself in the future and what does your Day job look like? Well, I mean, ultimately it's it's this. I mean, working in tooling is probably one of the best things that I could have ever done in my life. It took me it took me close to 10 years to figure out what I actually wanted to do. When I was 18, I'd have never guessed that you know I was going to be a machinist and be able to provide for my family doing that. When I graduated high school, I wanted to work on cars, and that's all that I was ever going to do. So, knowing that there was a future out there in machining that I had no idea was a real eye-opener so based on what you're going to do in high school may not always be what you're going to do in a career so always keep your eyes open take it take advantage of every opportunity that you can i didn't go to college because i wanted more hands-on experience i mean i enjoy sitting down and doing some book work here and there but i like to do more hands-on and getting more hands-on experience outside of school less book work actually doing things and it was a big big step for me going from a high school class to a a job shop where I didn't know as much I'm still young so I have a lot to learn yet but I like teaching the newer guys that come in here and showing them what I've learned over the past few years that I've worked here take the opportunity take the initiative if you want to do it go do it so my name is Derek Knipe and I'm a manufacturing engineer here at BMF Industries so as an engineer here at PMF Industries, uh, I've seen a lot of the apprentice get hired right out of high school, um, coming here and having a job. We are able to work with them, we're able to train them. So these kids are in their early 20s, they come out of the program as journeyman machinists, and they are years ahead of their peers in the industry in terms of experience, in terms of expertise, technical knowledge, all because of the apprenticeship program. That's what that's given them, that's what that's they've trained them to do. So this apprenticeship program is, is shown to be a huge benefit for both the employee as well as the employer here at PMF Industries. College is very expensive and it's not tailored specifically for the trade you're in. There's a lot of general courses you have to take and a lot of them don't apply specifically to the trade where an apprenticeship program, they really have it narrowed down to what you need to know for the trade you're going into. Stable income is a big thing for me. The trade is very high demand. So if you're willing to learn and you have a good attitude, you can really succeed and it's a very good opportunity to do so. When I did college, I, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do um, and I didn't know. And so I just went and the first thing that kind of popped in my mind, failed out of it, <laughs> you know, started doing sales. Uh, I don't know, it just didn't work because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So, but I went to a temp agency, found my way into manufacturing, and just kind of went from there. And I didn't know I wanted to do this at all. So, I mean, try new things, and if something doesn't, if something isn't working, then move on. But 
I'm making some pretty cool stuff and I'm learning a lot on the way. I don't know, why wouldn't you at least want to try it? So I'm Jerry Alsimer. Uh, I'm the manager of the CNC machining department. Uh, myself, I went through two apprenticeship programs. Uh, so I, I could see how that would add to their skill level and provide the resources that PMF was going to need in, in the future. At first, we were just worried about PMF, but as we thought through the apprenticeship program, we were, just, we were not just building for PMF, we are building for all of the Pennsylvania industries, no matter where these employees would end up being. We were adding to the workforce that was uh, being uh, diminished. Without these apprenticeship programs and convincing students and most importantly parents that this is a good pathway to a good career, um, the whole country would be in trouble, not just local industries. So my name is Austin McKenzie. My experience in the machining field has started machining in high school and then I went to college at a vocational trade school where it was just machining. In a career I, I look for advancement. With this field it was right for me because every day is different. Typically we have our tailor freezers on one end that were in the sheets and some of the gas stations and stores you'll see those ice cream freezers and then we go a whole way to aerospace products where jet engines, uh, we do stuff for Rolls-Royce and Hamilton Sunstrand and stuff like this it requires the skill that you can learn in the apprenticeship program to, to really be able to understand what's going on here and how to program them and know when something's wrong or know when it's all right. The most rewarding thing is is how we see how we change these young people's lives. Where is this going? It's endless at this point. Uh, we're looking at other programs right now. We have a IMT, Industrial Manufacturing Technician Apprenticeship. We're going to start that out uh, within the next month. We have a tool making apprenticeship program that we're going to get involved with as well. It's just our long-term strategy of our investment in our people uh, to continue to cultivate the skills that they need for us to build the products that we need to build for our customers.